Brian here. Welcome to another video. Um, I got a recent comment on one of my older videos of uh, it was an, a logo that I animated and I thought it was just you know let me just do a new video and uh, I will briefly explain how you can put it together. Also down in the description I'm gonna leave a link so you can download it and uh, use it for your own use. It's free you know I don't, I don't ask anything of it it's pretty easy. I made it an open template so you can just drag and drop your logo, add your text, play with the colors, add the animation or a little bit of animation and there you go. You have your own animated uh, logo. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I've used it a couple of times and uh, I hope it helps. So I'm gonna show you guys a little video now on how you know you can work with it and what what you need to do and all that stuff in order um, to make it your own okay so let's check out that video and uh, yeah let's get going so when you open up the file there are uh, one two three four all right so four four different options here okay so first of all your logo Okay, so I just put logo there, but here you need to put your logo. So I'm gonna put, hold on for a second here, I'm gonna put a logo in here. Uh, let me just put my new logo. I think I'm gonna put this. Okay. Fit. So I'm going to put my logo here for just a second. Okay, we need to, damn it. Good. So what we need to do is we need to make it a little bit smaller. So right now it's a little bit too big. Probably keep it like this. And you just go to the final composition just to see how it looks on the, on the, On the final version there. Probably should put it to half. Okay, so there you go. Where's the logo? Probably here. You're gonna see it better. Okay, so let's try to fit it. Good. So the logo is pretty big actually. Too big. Okay, so the logo is a bit too big. We need to make it smaller and probably put it a little bit more up like this. So there you go. Final composition. See how that looks now. It'll probably look a little bit better. There you go. Still a little bit on the big side. Put a little bit down. Just like that. See how that looks. Good. That looks a lot better. All right, so you can also put text. So I made this, this text here. Don't worry about it doesn't if it doesn't add, you know, just don't worry, I'm gonna explain a little bit why. So you put your text, you can put, um, so I'll put here um, official, um, let's put YouTube uh, channel, okay? Official YouTube channel. All right, so how does that look? Final composition, official YouTube channel. Well, that looks nice, okay? So just so you can get an idea of what's going on here. That's what I meant, you know, don't worry about it. It's just an effect that happens. Official YouTube channel. Okay, so in the final composition, there's a drop uh, option here. You click it and then there's effects. Drop the effects and then you get through all of this, okay? so setting mode In setting mode you can either you want the checking box on or off on it's just you know like this as you can see it here it's black you put it off and then you get this cool um background which you will see in a little bit you just click it and then you know it's off and then you know there you go See, now it's off. So now you have this cool, um, you know, lit 
floor and everything. As you guys can see, it's like nice. It's like it's like wet. You know, it's, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so you got that. Um, here, let's close this. Logo one, the color. We can change the color. We can put it any any color we want. Let's put, let's say hypothetically, we can do it uh, pink. Click OK. Now it's gonna be pink. Okay. There you go. It's pink. So that's the uh, color one. Color two. It's blue. We can probably use it white. Let's see how that looks. Now it's white. Uh, the glow intensity. Um, I always leave it at 8.5. You know, you shouldn't put it too much because otherwise it would be too much. The logo exposure is also at 15. That's good. Uh, the text color. Uh, we can probably use that as white as well. So that's also good. So this is going to be white now. Bam, see? But as the color changes here, it also changes on the floor. So that's very, very cool. Okay, so the glow intensity, like I said, the lightning color. You can change the lightning. Now it's green. We can probably maybe use it orange, a little bit orange. How does that will look? I think that will look pretty cool. Interesting color. See that? Bam. So that looks nice. And... Um, you can even change the sky color, the sky right here is the sky color, okay? So let's say right now it's a little orange, but let's say we can put a little bit blue. So now you will see the sky color is blue. Bam, see? The sky color right here. But we can we can probably leave it at orange, that will probably look cool too. Oh, sorry, for some reason I... I didn't go to the sky color, I clicked the, um, the lighting color. Okay, so the sky color is right here. You can change this to probably something a little bit more bluish. So you'll see here, now it's bluish. You're gonna see it's changing. Bam, now it's bluish. That's cool. All right. The exposure and everything, that's up to you if you wanna play with it or not. The, the rain is on right now so there's like rain falling and stuff like that but but you you know you can turn it off and then there's like no rain okay so it's just you know the the logo with the floor but i think that the rain you know it kind of gives it this nice um you know vibe to it so you can put it on and then you will you'll get all these raindrops on the on the window itself so that's pretty cool okay so the amount of raindrops like right now it's set to 50 Let's say 100, and you will see here, look, there's a lot more raindrops, okay? So we'll just leave it at 100 for that dramatic effect. Uh, the raindrops on the window off, so like I said, you can close this, you can turn it off. Now you don't see the rainbow effects, uh, the raindrop, sorry. Put it on again, now you will see it. Okay, so you can use letterbox. I have it turned off. But you can turn it on and then you will get the cinematic um, letterbox up and down okay but i'll just i'll leave it off optional if you want to you know do it or not so not right now we're done that was it that's all it was okay so right now we go to file we go to export um so let's add the rendering queue okay um <clears throat> I like to, you know, the format is, is yeah, quick time is okay. You can do a quick time. Blah, 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 blah. Format options, animation. We can do Apple ProRes, you know, 422 HQ. You can do that. Click OK. Anyways, that's, that's okay. Final composition. So we can, you know, save it. There you go. Format is QuickTime. Let's just call it final composition uh, on the desktop. Okay, then click save. Good. And now we click render. And you know, depending on how fast your computer is, you can you can render it, and uh, that'd be cool. So I'm gonna let this render for a while, and when it's done, uh, I'm gonna come back. So that was
was it, guys? Uh, pretty simple, right? I mean, yeah, anybody can do this. So I hope you, uh, you can use it. I hope it's helpful. And uh, let me know how it works out. So uh, to, the, to the one uh, person that asked me about this, I hope this you know, answers your whole question. And I hope you can use it too. And uh, let me know how it works out. So that was it for this uh, video, guys. I will come back um, next week with another video. So stay tuned and uh, take care. Peace out.